What's going on, guys? I almost went live right there on accident. I, like, really don't stream anymore. I've, I haven't, like, told people that on YouTube either, like, on my main channel. But, uh, whatever. If you don't know what the main channel is, it's Winebox Poppy. Link in description. Um, so, usually I do a podcast a week early. Like, I release it a week early for Patreon subscribers and YouTube members. But I didn't do one last week, so I'm going to try and do one this week. This one's coming out just because. Uh, just because I didn't do one last week, so the algorithm... You know, just to help it out a little bit. I think I'm gonna make a video, and you read that title, right? But I'm, I'm gonna explain why I didn't make one last week, and explain why I took some time off. Not today, not in this video, but I will. Why I took some time off when I'm ready to? Okay. Um, but so today, I, you read that title. I probably read that title or made that title correct enough to where you would know what you're getting. Mm. Mm. Oh, I have a good idea. Actually, I'm gonna have to edit this, but I have a good idea. Ooh, right here. So I used to have. A podcast called Poppy Code. I switch things up so often. Like I always change what I'm doing. It's kind of hilarious. It's probably a problem. But um I like would always uh do Poppy Code and that's where people would send in questions and I give them advice based off the questions and based off of my life and how I think I could help them and giving them uh, unbiased advice because I don't really give a shit what you do. If you don't listen to me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But we could do that, we could do that again. But where I just answer the poppy code question. Now, right in the beginning, answer the poppy code question, and then we go in to the actual podcast. I think that's a really good idea, yeah? And if you don't want to hear it, obviously, you could just skip ahead. But so if you want your question answered, just comment down below with your question if you would like that to be a poppy code, or you could DM me if you don't feel comfortable doing that, like saying it so people can see your name. Um, you can just DM me them if you'd like. And they always stay anonymous. So let me see if I could find some poppy code ones really here. Because I, I asked, when was the last time I asked for a poppy code question? Five weeks ago when I decided I wasn't going to do that anymore and do this instead. I didn't answer these. I didn't even look at these. Okay, this isn't a question, but we're definitely going to read it. Follow me and everything is all right. I'll be the one who fuck you in at night. <laughs> they, they didn't put the F. They, did, they put an asterisk. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me. Was that a double negative? All right. Okay. Any tips on how to build more confidence? Yes. Yes, of course. I think I'm a very confident person. I don't think it's um cocky. I think I'm I think I'm confident, so I think I'm good to talk about this. So to build most people, I think, have a problem with a confidence problem for some fucking reason. Hey, can you guys see the light? Can you see it changing colors on my face from that distance? Because I'm not monitoring the video. Or else I'll just be looking like this and staring at it instead of looking at you. Oh, and also I changed the video. Somebody's like, it looks, you look really stretched out. I know. I know. I just wanted to use a different camera. Okay? It's a bit more expensive one. But all right, we'll do this one. So for confidence, okay, I've, I've answered similar questions like this before. Um, what I said originally was do something that you think is going to kill you. Okay. For instance, public speaking. Okay. That is the number one most, well, that's the biggest fear, right? Aside from death. Was that number two or number? It's higher than death, right? So public speaking, go do something like that. Go to like stand up, go do a poetry or something stupid, right? Something that you don't, well, I'm not saying any of that's stupid. Obviously I don't think any of that's stupid, but you know, if, if you don't care about it, you don't think there's going to be a career there, or maybe you do, you know, try it, try something like that because you're going to come out of doing something extremely scary. Things that people find that are so frightening that they're more scared of that than death itself. Okay. <laughs> Which I think is, is a little bit scarier than <laughs> doing public speaking, do that. And you're going to walk out of there with newfound confidence. Cause you're gonna be like, Oh my God. I survived. Look, I lived. What's nothing? Nothing can hurt me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now I care what this person says after I just went and told jokes and nobody laughed or nobody liked my fucking poetry or my speech or what have you. Somebody commented after I said that on the poppy code. They're like, "Hey man, don't tell people to do that. That's gonna fuck people up. That gonna bring some real damage to them in their lives." I'm like, dude, if that fucks your life up from you doing something like that that you're super uncomfortable doing, like, you have some underlying problems. If that's going to fucking ruin your life, if you're embarrassed, like, come on, that's it. That's all it takes. All right. Whatever, man. That's on you. But I think that's the best way. Do something that you think is going to kill you, something you're really, really scared of. And it'll probably help in all aspects of your life. Like if you're a, a guy and you go around asking uh, like if you want to ask women out, but you're scared of women, I think the best way to do it would be something like what I just said. Because if you are 
embarrassing yourself for instance so I, I, stand up right so if you're embarrassing yourself doing stand up how the fuck are you gonna care if some chick says no to you like you you care more about getting laughs than you do getting pussy pro probably maybe i don't know maybe it's just me but um like what like why would you be like why do i care what i say to you why do i care if i embarrass you i talk and try and tell jokes in front of people like who look just like you right you know what i'm saying so, something like that that's the mindset you should have because like and remember like embarrassment with being confident there's other things you can do with confidence but that's the best initial way to get confidence i mean obviously a self-help book or something that'll help you realize how great you are right everybody's individually great and you know what i'm saying to an extent and stuff like that um but like learning to love yourself and everything like that loving yourself first and being super confident in who you are knowing your strengths and knowing like your weaknesses like everybody has their strengths and weaknesses some people think they only have weaknesses but everybody has strengths and stuff like that what was i gonna say anything else anything else hmm hmm I don't think so. Well, I think I just lost that last part of the train of thought. But let's get into what I wanted to talk about today. But before we get into it, you want to sponsor this shit? You want to be a sponsor of this? Okay, cool. Patreon.com slash OneBoxPoppy or become a YouTube member on the main channel. And I post these a week early most of the time. Not every time. There's also vlogs. There's going to be stand-up there. There's going to be book reviews, all of that stuff. Um, the only thing that we'll be able to see that you don't have to pay for are these, but a week later, right, when I do that. Okay, so Black Friday. What what the fuck? What what I don't care how it started, right? That's not what I want to talk about. Why does it still exist? Is there a fucking reason? Cuz I don't think so. You guys see the the early Black Friday deals. Get your Black Friday deals now. Like, okay. What then what's the point of that day? Why do I have to be there for that why is there lines why is there why do you have a gate best buy why are you hurting people like cattle still i don't understand this cyber monday is better i did did i go for black friday yeah but my cousin wanted me to go so I was like, yeah i'll go with him um everything you could have bought online i did go out to buy something that i was like oh it's on sale i could buy it online but i was like eh i live right down the street okay i have to like make sure my computer doesn't go to sleep i, I should set it so it doesn't like uh what is it put the monitors to sleep kind of scares me i don't want my computer to shut off so i lose my train of thought but like i only went there so i could get it instantly or else i could have had it delivered to my house that like two days later but i'm really not a patient human being but like what's what's the point okay still i should i look up right now how it started and we'll, we'll base it off of that because i feel like there's some stupid shit some dumb reason that we have black friday why did black friday start the earliest evidence of the phrase black friday applied to the day after thanksgiving in a shopping context suggests that the term originated in philadelphia where it was used to describe the heavy and disruptive pedestrian and vehicle traffic that would occur on the day after thanksgiving that's it so people just naturally shop after thanksgiving i want to know the date did it say the date this if it said the date Okay, it didn't. I was scared because even in my YouTube videos, I'm like, I noticed that I don't pay attention to things that are important that I'm looking for. 1952? Black Friday has been regarded as the uh, beginning of America's Christmas shopping season since 1952. And, uh, although the term Black Friday didn't become widely used until more recent decades. It's fucking dumb. It is so stupid. All right, guys, let's... Oh, my phone fell. Mm. Am I going to pick that up? No, I don't need it. I don't need it yet. Um, let's give thanks. Okay, that shit's over. Perfect. Let's go get a shitty TV. $200 off? Dude, I didn't need that, but I saved 200 No, you didn't. You, you, you saved it from 900 to 700 but you still you spent 700 okay? This is the most American thing ever. It's insane. It's fun. I like the... um. That's the only reason I'm okay with it. It's because I like I like all the people. Everybody's out. It feels like you're in a, like because I'm from a suburb, right? Northwest suburb of Chicago, and it's fucking lame. This area sucks dick. It's awful, terrible. Nothing good about it. The people suck. Even me, right? And when but when Black Friday, it feels like a city. You know, everybody's up. Every, every nobody goes to sleep because they all want that. They want to save twenty percent so bad, right? The only reason I'll go is for that reason like if i was to go at night which i did not do this year because i like to keep my circadian rhythm 
going. It's because I'm a good boy. I'm a good, healthy boy. Mm -hmm. That's how you say that, right? I don't give a shit. But, I, I mean, I went with my cousin. Went there. I, don't, I don't buy shit. I did this <laughs> the next day, though. We went at like 11. I was like, okay, if no, nothing's there, whatever, I'll go with you. Let's see what's up. I was like, oh, I'll buy that video game. Sure. But it's just so weird. I could have bought them all online, but I just went with them to join in with them. Maybe I'm just, now I'm just giving excuses. And I'm just talking out loud. I'm just talking out loud. Mm, as opposed to what? Talking in silence? Fucking idiot. But you know how we do this. We don't have any scripts. And we just think and we say what we think is happening. I wonder. I wonder how long it's going to take for it to come to an end with, uh, you know, stores, I feel like, aren't as popular, right? That's That might sound stupid, obviously. Um, but I think in the coming years, we will see a huge decline. And they, they will in their revenue, right, because of Amazon and everything like this. And all these websites, and Cyber Monday and the Black Friday deals that are happening a week before with with uh, Best Buy, at least, from what I saw. It seemed like it, at least. Unless they was just like saying, hey, remember, don't forget. Don't forget. We're making kids work on Thanksgiving because of deals. Don't forget to come in. Hey, you want that TV? Well, too bad we only got 30 of them. Get fucked. Come here. Get in line. Oh, you want to eat dinner? That suck. Even though fuck Thanksgiving. That shit is awful. Terrible. Terrible. What's the point of that shit? Can we get rid of that one? I get why we have it. Can we get rid of it? Food sucks. I will fight any of you on that one. Turkey, disgusting. I'm a very picky eater. Maybe that's why I don't like it. I only like sushi. That's it. And grilled cheese. Um, Why? I say by 2028 or 2030, there probably, there probably won't be a thing, right? There's no way that people are still going to be. I could be totally wrong. People are fucking stupid. But there's no people are still going to be waking up early as shit or staying up. I know people who stay up and they're like out at like 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning at Woodfield and shit. I mean, if you're doing it for fun, that's cool. But like, there's no way. Like, if you're one of those people that like fight people to get shit, if you're getting aggressive and willing to fight somebody the day after Thanksgiving, you should be put on death row. Some of this shit is insane. I can't believe it. You guys have seen the videos. People fighting in Walmart. People fighting over televisions. You have a TV. Do you not have a TV? Is that the first time you've ever seen a TV? If, if you don't have a TV, I'll give you a TV. Okay? This is I don't hold. I will not give you a TV. Do not tell me to give you a TV because I'm not gonna do it. I know. I know how much those cost to ship. I've made fun of 90 Day Fiance before, but it's just so. It's kind of like. It, it, to me, this is going to be a really weird connection. It reminds me of traffic, okay? Because it is. It technically is traffic, right? It, traffic in stores and stuff with all these fucking pedestrians, all these civilians and shit. I'm coming off from the from hiding, working in my office or my house. I'm like, why are those people outside? Why is there so many people? Um, but, like, I sit in traffic, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Is this not 2018? Why am I stopped on the expressway right now. Huh? Elon Musk, what am I doing here? Why am I not moving? Which makes me super excited, right? We're, we're getting into the time of where I, I think, also, interjection, because this is how I think we're going to be all over the place. I think, this is why, I just, I just answered why Black Friday still exists, and it might keep going on forever, because even though Cyber Monday might help, if people are impatient like I am, right? People do not understand how much their time is actually worth. So to them, standing in line, back when I was younger, right, like 16, I, my time wasn't worth shit, right? I always say, if you're not at least 18 years old, you are not even a human being yet, okay? 18 years old, you are just born. Go work. Go do something. I get you can work at 16. You're not an adult, though. You can't buy cigarettes and you can't watch porn. I will call the police. Um, but you're standing in line. Like, what is your time worth? Nothing. Do not factor that in. Like, all right, so I make, let's just hypothetically say you make $10 an hour. to make it easy on us, okay? You're saving $40 off of, uh, I don't know, headphones, right? My son, he wants Beats so bad, and they're $40 off today, okay? And that's going to cover the insurance because my son's a little asshole, and those are built like shit, okay? Those I'm going to get them for. You wait in line for three hours, you make 10. What the fuck? 
You guys might be thinking, there's nobody with a kid who makes $10 an hour. I can show you 10 of them who do. Okay, so you make more. Let's say you make more than $10 an hour. Then it's even worse. So you make 20 and you just spent $60 to stand there and be like, I'm going to get my kid that. It would have saved you money if you bought it online. Full price. Yeah. I saw those lines. I didn't wait in line. Okay. My cousin was buying a phone. I brought my shit up there when he was buying the phone to the guy working with him at Best Buy. I was like, hey, man, can I just buy this shit here? I'm not, sta I'm not standing in that shit for like two hours. That's not happening. Not even if these games are free, okay? It's n I'm not doing it. He's like, yeah, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard you were talking shit about me with your cousin anyway, but yeah. But I think that's it. People don't understand the concept of time, that their time is more important than in money. You know? Do people not get that? I feel like they don't get that. I feel like I explain it a lot to people in real life, that time is far more valuable than money. All the time. Every single time. You can always get money. Who gives a shit? Right? You, you can't get your time back. The only way you can get time back is if you, like, buy a private jet. Good luck. Because then you don't got to, like, waste time <laughs> at the airport. Uber. Uber saves you time. There's two couple ways you can buy time. Ubering. Having a driver, right? Or a private jet. Oh, there goes the monitors again. I got to change that. I need somebody doing this shit for me who could just sit at the computer and just move the mouse a centimeter. That's who I need in my life. Who wants to who wants to be hired? But I think I just solved it. I just solved the whole American problem. This is probably a problem everywhere. Or not. We're really obsessed with monetary stuff here. All of our collectibles, all of our shit. I can't be talking. I'm looking around right now at, at my office that is just full of garbage. Awesome garbage that I purchased. I love my garbage. But I wouldn't wait in line six hours if it was on sale. What I'll do is, there's, there's websites. You, get, you buy shit cheap. You can buy shit and you have to wait for it because it takes longer to get to you. Not wish. Fuck that stuff. What do you guys think? Ten years? A decade from now. Black Friday won't exist. It'll just be online. No more door buster sales. Or are we going to go deeper into it? Are we going to become more of this dystopian future of sales? Like every week, every month, we have a 9-11 sale. Don't forget. Never forget. 50% off, right? When's that going to happen? That's what I want to know. Hmm. That'd be really weird. Could you imagine that that actually happened? I don't think that'll ever happen. That'd be fucked. There are, there are too many people. Maybe when they, all the old people die, and then like one of the ignorant millennials is going to be like, I'm going to get it. But everybody be too offended. We're too offended. Man, I sound like an old person right now talking shit about my generation. Fuck, I hate myself. Ooh, that's a good topic. For Wednesday. I might just put this up today. Today is currently, what is it? Saturday, November 24th. Dude, my fucking, because I've been doing every other day videos, and my time has been so fucked up. Like, I don't even know. I thought yesterday, oh, wait. No, I thought yesterday was Wednesday for some reason, and I thought a couple days ago yesterday, I was like, yeah, a couple days ago on Friday, like, my, everything was just fucked up, and I thought a couple days ago would have been Friday instead of Monday. My mind, I don't know why wouldn't it make it worse if it was, like, uploading every day? I've just been doing every other day to see what it does to the algorithm. And just because, like, I'll explain why why I took a little bit of time off when I'm ready, obviously. Maybe we'll talk about political correctness next week on Wednesday. And then maybe I'll upload two because I want one to come out a week early. I want this to come out today. And I want the week early to come out on next, not this coming Wednesday, but the one after, if that's cool. Um, yeah, and if you guys want to see that shit early, go over to patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy or the YouTube main channel, uh, Winebox Poppy. Um, do you guys like the structure of me, uh, 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 like of me just, first of all, doing the question in the beginning, answering that? I like that. That's skippable. I'm not going to put it towards the end, right? Because watch time. I understand how watch time works in percentages like that. So we'll get that in the end. If you put it tor if you put it in the beginning, so if you put it towards the end, people, the, it'll drop off watch time. Um, and I, you guys like the where it's just structured, where I just talk and just see what comes out of my mouth? Let's make it more natural. You know, make it seem like we were just hanging out, hanging out and just talking and not being too, not worrying too much, I guess. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say, because you could get in a lot of trouble from just talking 
you could ruin a career from just talking, but you, you could be careful. But I'm not talking about anything super, uh, ooh, uh-oh. I don't know. That'd be fun. I like this. I always feel, feel I, always, I could feel it. I always feel really fulfilled after I do these. Is that weird? Feels kind of weird. I might do, um, I kind of want to do this with Jessica as well. I can't do it in this office if I do it with Jessica. I still have the podcast studio set up at my house. But this mic is incredible. So I don't know if I would want to bring that over there and do that with her regularly. I'm not sure if she would want to do that. We could talk about it. But let me know what guys, what topics you guys want to, or like maybe want to hear my thoughts on. Because I'm always interested about everything. Everything interests me. But there's like so much stuff that I could pick from to talk about that it kind of gives me choice fatigue. Like there's too many choices for me to pick from. So I'm not sure. But the political correctness, I think I want to, I think I want to talk on that shit. That'll be fun to talk about. Uh, for Wednesday. And this should go up today. Have some discussions going. Talk to each other. I'll try and respond to everybody. And uh, yeah, love you guys. See you guys on Wednesday. And thank you guys so much for watching. These are going up everywhere. Spotify, if you want to listen to these as well, um, I will be uploading this audio on Wednesday. But the other ones should be up on iTunes, Spotify, Pretty much everywhere but SoundCloud because I'm not paying $16 a month for that shit. All right. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you all.